So today we are going to draw a picture of a goose. You're going to need a piece of paper, block crayons, purple, brown, blue, black, and green. And we're going to start with a purple border. So I want you to take your purple blocked crayon, pop a bare side, and go across the top of your paper, slowly and neatly, to make the top of your border. Go down the side of your paper, also slowly and neatly. with your purple block crayon all the way down the side of your paper. There's my side. Then we're going to do the border on the bottom with purple Papa Bear along the bottom slowly and neatly. And then finally down the left side of the paper, all the way down, slowly and neatly. Now, I want you to take your black block crayon and we are going to start with the goose's head. This is a Canada goose or a Canadian goose and it's gonna be really close to the top of your paper, like way up to the top and a little bit to the right. Here's my border. This is where the goose's head is gonna start. You're gonna do a curve. That's the top of the goose's head. And then come out to a point and kind of flat. I'm using baby bear. And that is the goose's beak. And even color that in a little bit. The back of the head is going to continue like this, but then we're going to make a black line using Baby Bear that's going to connect to the beak an angle at an angle because we have to show that white chin strap of the goose. Go ahead and color that in. And then the neck, use Baby Bear to connect that. But the neck we're gonna make with Mama Bear and it's gonna be long because a Canadian goose has a really long neck and it's black. And so we're gonna start with Baby Bear or Mama Bear. And we're gonna go a ways, almost like halfway down your paper. Big, long, black neck. And then I want you to make a, an angle right there because that's where the neck kind of goes into the body. Now go ahead and take your brown block of crayon and we're going to make the front of the goose's breast or belly and make that angular. I'm using baby bear and curves. And then it's going to go all the way over to the border with another curve, and that's the bottom tail feather. And then, using Baby Bear, you're going to make the top part of the body. Bring it over all the way down like that. Now, you know that the goose has a white Breast. So we're going to make a line that follows, and this is with Baby Bear, the curve here. The feathers, I'm making kind of sea-like movements with my Baby Bear. And then the last two rows of feathers are going to be more straight. So one, 
two. And then we're going to make feathers that go out using Baby Bear again. And then one that goes down like that. That's that back feather. Color this part in up to the white breast. I'm just going over it with Papa Bear Brown. But then to make it look gray, I'm gonna take Papa Bear Black and go over that. Same thing with these back tail feathers. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a white right here. Now you know that geese have black legs that are medium long. And they kind of bend into a webbed foot. There's one leg, there's the other leg, and the other, other foot is going to, almost looks like it's standing on part of its other foot. But the goose is actually standing on a log. So taking your brown block crayon, Color that in, that's the log, and this log is in the pond, because it is at the edge of a pond. Take a little bit of black to make it look gray. And then put a couple little nubs on it, because this is an old dead log sticking out into the pond that this goose is standing on. Now to show that it's the pond, the shallow part of the pond. We're going to do a layer of green here. It's kind of like the mossy part of the pond. And that layer of green is gonna go all about halfway up the goose's breast. Do that on the other side. That's the shallow part. Then we're going to do blue on top of that. That starts when this is, um, again, Papa Bear Blue. This is showing the pond. So I put a little bit of green again. Papa Bear layer of green. and a little bit of brown on top of that with Papa Bear to show the shoreline. Oh, we forgot something. The goose's eye is actually quite black and I'm using the corner of black baby bear and its beak is quite black as well. I'm coloring that in. If you have a black stick crayon, you could use that and the neck a little bent, it's not quite as straight as we have it right here. Make it look a little more realistic. And then finally, we're gonna end with a beautiful blue sky. I'm using Papa Bear here. It's one of the beauties of block crayons. You can color in a lot of area. And this is our goose from top to bottom. Lovely.